Obviously, you've had a great year. Promotion to the championship with Wigan and now into the Euros. What's it been like to be Will Grigg this year? Ah, it's been unbelievable, you know. It's been a, it's been a great year. Obviously signing for Wigan was was decent and then it was it was promotion that we wanted and obviously to get that is it's just been unbelievable. Where were you when you heard the news that you were in the squad? Um, we were actually at a training camp in uh, Carlton House in, in Ireland, so yeah. you know it was a uh, I think it was 28 of us there and obviously it had to be narrowed down to 23 so you know it was uh, the manager sort of called us in one by one and, and told us the news. How do they tell you so he just literally sits you down is it like X Factor? <laughs> More or less yeah it was uh, we got a text saying you know the manager wants to see you now and it was yeah straight into the room little Simon Cow moment and uh, you know he, he obviously told me the good news so yeah it was, uh, it was a good one. And after that who was the first person that you called? The first one was my girlfriend to be fair, yeah, I strapped the phone to the girlfriend and then brother and mum. What was know. their reaction like? Yeah, they were really pleased, I think there was a few tears from from, uh, from the girlfriend and the mum and then the brother was just, yeah, buzzing, it was, uh, it was something that they were, they were waiting on, so it was nice. How are you finding the difference between domestic and international football? It's quite different to be fair, I think the international side, it's, it's almost slower in terms of, you know, it's a lot of possession based and uh, especially with the good teams you've got in your group, you know, it's, it's difficult to, to dominate games, but, you know, it's obviously a little bit different going from from dominating games at Wigan and, you know, we, we have a lot of possession and obviously create lots of chances and, you know, you don't get many chances at the international level, so it's, it's, it's quite different. What was the morale like after the first game? Oh, massively disappointed, you know, it, it was a great chance for ourselves and I think the boys are a little bit disappointed in, in the performance just, just because, you know, it was how the game went. I think we, we had a few chances late on, but you know, it was, it was difficult for us. And So you've obviously got a lot of free time in between the games. And apart from driving around in the same <laughs> with me, uh, what have you boys been getting up to? How do you keep yourself busy? Uh, yeah, we, get, we have a lot of time to ourselves to be fair. So um, at the hotel, we've got um, a decent games room. We've got, you know, PlayStations, Xbox. So there's been a lot of FIFA tournaments, a few Call of Duty tournaments going on. And uh, I think Johnny Evans brought in Border Dash, so you know there's been a few competitive, competitive games of that. And I think last night as well we had a we had an intense game of Jenga. I didn't I didn't realise how serious it could get. So who is the Northern Ireland Jenga champion? Then? The Jenga champion. Well, we've, we've been playing in big groups. To be fair, I think Craig Cathcart's the worst. He, he thought he was going to be the champion, but I think he's lost. He's lost a few games, you know, we've, uh, we haven't got men, many with a steady hand, so the champion will probably be myself or Lee Hudson, to be fair, we're, we're not bad. And what about FIFA? Who's, who's killing it at FIFA right now? There's a few. There's a few fancy themselves. Lee Hudson's very good, actually. Josh McGuinness, probably the worst. And then you've got you've got a few that secretly play, like Lou McCulloch. So. What's it like trading out here? What kind of setup have you guys got? It's been brilliant, you know, I think everything's sort of been, been set out perfect. The, the IFA have worked really hard in, in making it all perfect you know nothing to complain about and you know the facility has been brilliant so it's, it's five minutes from our base and the pitches are spawned. Now obviously we can't sit down and talk to you without mentioning Will Griggs on fire. <laughs> How good's the beat? Huh? The beat's decent isn't it? Dude, you can't knock this dude. Will Griggs on fire! <laughs> Um, yeah, I've obviously heard it at Wigan was probably the first. I heard uh, probably only uh, a few hundred singing it, and then obviously it went viral with Sean Kennedy on, on Twitter and stuff. And then after that, you get in, you get nearly twenty thousand singing it. So the first time I heard it was probably at the DW, and then obviously it's been crazy from there. How does it feel like when you hear like a whole stadium blasting out, and even your teammates <laughs> singing it along as well? Yeah, it's been brilliant. I think, um, yeah, to hear it at the stadium, you know, all, all the fans singing it was was top class, and then obviously promotion and stuff. To hear the to hear the boys singing along to it was uh, was quality. It's, it's not every day you get it, so I think you got to make the most of it. You ever sing along to it yourself? I've got to admit, I have yeah a few times, but <laughs> probably behind closed doors. I think after after the promotion game at Blackpool, I was I was caught singing it, and then. Obviously the final day, but you know I, I try to keep, keep that under wraps. Right, so we've come all the way out here today to deliver you a special pair of boots for you to wear throughout the Euros. Hopefully boots that are going to bring you a load of goals, all right? Yeah, that sounds good to me, you know, and uh, try and keep that form going. So here we go, straight from hot off the press, boot ID. Beautiful. Specific for yourself. 
Oh, quality. Northern Ireland flag, Greg. Northern Ireland, Greg. And Cheeky flame little on flame the on the hill. That's what it's all about, that boys. Full on. Will Greg on fire. <laughs> quality. Hi, I'm Will Grigg. Thanks very much to Pro Direct Soccer for delivering my boots.